Let's solve one previous question of graph theory. This question was asked in gate CS 2024 sect 1 question number 50. The number of edges present in the forest generated by a DFS traversal of an undirected graph with 100 vertices is 40. The number of connected component in G is dash. So here it is saying in a DFS forest there are 100 vertices and 40 edges and it is asking number of connected component in the graph. So how many connected component are present? Let's take an example. Suppose this is a graph A, B, C, D. We have 4 vertices. Let's this is a graph. Now if we draw its DFS then A to B, B to C, C to D. Right? So there are 4 vertices and three edges. So DFS tree it's like a tree structure if there are n vertices then there will be n minus one edges. So number of edges will be n minus one if it is a DFS tree if it is a single DFS tree. So for four vertices there are three edges. Let's take a disconnected graph like it have multiple components. Now if we'll create DFS for it so A to B then B to C then D then E to F. So there are one two three four five six. So number of vertices equals to six and number of edges equals to one two three. So it is a DFS forest. There are multiple connected components. So A B C is one component. D is one component, EF is another component. So for B equals to 6, number of edges should be 5 if it is a single connected component. As it is a disconnected graph, so here number of edges equals to 3 in the DF is first. 5 minus 3 plus 1. So there are 3 connected component. So for B equals to N, number of edges should be N minus 1. If we have X edges, then it will be N minus 1 minus X plus 1. That many connected component. In this example, here number of vertices is 6. So number of edges should be 6 minus 1, right? And how many edges we have? 1, 2, 3. So minus 3 plus 1. There are 3 connected component. So if the graph have one connected component then there will be n minus one edges. But if it's a DFS forest graph is disconnected it have multiple component then how will find the number of component. So number of edges should be in the DFS tree minus how many edges are present plus one right. So in this case what we can do 100 minus 1. So if the graph will be single connected then it there will be 99 edges but it's not. It's a DFS forest. It have multiple component and how many edges it have 40 minus 40 plus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 cancel there will be 60 connected component. So answer will be 60. This is one way we just check some graphs and DFS and we found this formula and we got answer as 60. Another way we can use the Elliot's formula for planar graph. In DFS forest there are no crossing edges so it's a planar graph. For planar graph we already know Elliot's formula. So according to Elliot's formula B plus R equals to E plus 2 if there is one connected component, if there are multiple connected component, then it will be E plus K plus 1. Here K for connected component, number of connected component. And R is the region, V is the vertices and E is the edges. V is given as 100, E is given as 40, R equals to 1 and we need to find K. Then R is 100 plus 1 equals to 40 plus K plus 1. 1. So 101 minus 41 is 60. So we found k equals to 60. There are 60 connected component. So either you can use this earlier formula for finding connected component or you can use number of vertices minus 1 minus number of edges plus 1. So if there are 100 vertices and 40 edges then number of connected component in graph is 60. I already discussed DFS traversal in algorithm and planar graph in mathematics graph theory just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you please like share and subscribe thank you